Greetings, beautiful souls. It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sanja, and I am here again with another motivational soul healing video. If you're coming for the first time, do the right thing. Press the subscribe button down below and be part of the family. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you being here. As you might have seen from the title, we are speaking about reciprocation, the law of reciprocation. What you put out should bounce back and find you. Both the good and the bad and that is the nature of life so without wasting any more of your time let's just go straight to today's video so very often people who are empathetic people who are natural givers people who love other people who want to share the little that they always have because they still believe in the spirit of Ubuntu, they often find themselves surrounded by people who tend to be unable to reciprocate the same energy that they share with these people. And you find yourself feeling drained. You find yourself asking yourself questions such as, when will it be my turn? How come when I am the one who's going through dark waters, I am always on my own? I am always by myself people that I tend to assist and pull out when they need assistance, I am always there for them. How come when it is my turn, I'm always on my own, I'm always alone, no one shows up for me. You might be asking yourself those questions and today I have some answers. It is time to share your energy where your energy is being brought back. Most of the time we tend to show up for people who do not have the capacity to receive us the way we are willing to receive them. That is why it is very important to show up for people who have the capacity to receive you too. And those people will know what to do with the effort and the energy that you, t you choose to spend and share with them in times of need. And when it's time for you to also get the same assistance to also get the same shoulder to cry on they will be able to be there for you but every time when you find yourself surrounded by people who are unable to show you love the way you show them love instead of developing resentment and hatred recognize that that person is not the right person to be in a giving and taking relationship with you and when we speak of giving and taking it doesn't necessarily have to be anything tangible Energy speaks volume. How you feel in the presence of certain people can make or break your life. How you feel in the presence of people who claim they love you or the people that you say you love will determine a lot of things because these people, they become your environment. They become your energy field where you get to spend, share and receive the energy from. And if those energies are not aligned with your path, they're not aligned with the person that you are, they are not aligned with the dreams and the aspirations and the ambitions you have, you are much likely to fall off instead of being better due to the people that you keep in your cycle. So it is very important, don't ever take it lightly to be around people who are unable to love you the way that you do. People who are unable to give when you are in need the way that you know how to give when they are in need. This is a big indication that you are in the wrong place with the wrong people. There is nothing wrong with them per se, but you are not aligned. They are not aligned in your path. You need to be with people who are able to receive you the way you know how to receive them. And I do come across uh, sisters and brothers in these platforms where we meet who always constantly find themselves asking themselves questions of what can do when is our turn? When are we going to get paid back also? When are we going to be loved back the way we love? When are we ever going to live a life that is free? You get to determine the life that you're living. That's another hard pill to swallow that we need to really deal with and accept as the truth so that we can be able to bring forth some changes. We are the reasons why people treat us the way that they do because we have allowed them room. We have created a confirmation whether consciously or, or subconsciously, towards these people, telling them with actions or words or what we allow them to do in our spaces and in our own boundary lines, that it is okay to do what they're doing. We have allowed them to behave that way. 
and in a long run you find that you start to complain because you start saying that i don't deserve this treatment i don't want to be surrounded by people who don't have the insight to be empathetic people who do not possess emotional intelligence because those people they always going to behave in a manner that is selfish they always going to think for themselves they always going to be in places where they are benefiting something in your own expense most people haven't learned how to undo the wrongs that were done to them that caused them to be the people that they are today people who tend to be very ungrateful people who who are very entitled people who have envy towards people who are doing better than them people who always constantly feel the need to always look for some downfalls from people who show greatness who always thrive in making sure that they turn down people's spirits that they make sure that they feel horrible about themselves if you are that type of a person or you are surrounded by those type of people you need to know that you will be pulled down to their level because they are not going to be willing to rise up to the level that you are currently in or hoping to climb towards there will come a point in time where you will have to leave some certain people behind especially people from your childhood some of them are going to be your family members if they are not aligned with what you say you want to become they are not aligned with the principles and the values and the systems of how you live this life they are mistake they are mistaken in you for something else they choose to misunderstand you they choose to 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 see you in a certain negative way they do not get the light that you are radiating with that is not going to be something you might be able to change but you can change which spaces and people and 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 places deserve your presence you can de determine the people and the places that really deserve you because not everybody gets to have you not everybody gets to share you it has to be people who are able to receive you who have the capacity to receive you the way you are willing and able to receive them so someone might might ask how do i then separate myself from these type of people because sometimes you find that these people are family members you find that these people are our friends family friends who we've known almost all our lives people we have been you know like who saw us growing up or we saw them growing up but as you became adult you realize that there are some things that are not aligned with your personalities with the way you think with the way you you, you believe your systems your belief systems and principles of living your life you see what there is something you can't force a relationship simply because you're saying you're family you can be frank with someone you don't have to dislike them or to hate them but you can just be frank with them and also consist on being who you are make it your day to day goal to constantly stay authentic in your identity do not be shaken by anything and anyone that wants to make you believe that you are anything less or anything wrong believe so much in yourself so that you will be able to acknowledge those who truly do love you those who truly want to be part of you those who are willing to give to you the, as much as you are giving to them and you will also gain the wisdom of knowing the people who are smiley in their faces but their energies are not aligned with you because you will see also as time goes in their actions they won't be able to meet you halfway they won't be able to meet you anywhere because they are all about taking away from you they acknowledge your greatness they see that you are making things happen they are really like admiring your hard work but they will not tell you to your face they will want a part of that by always acting victims in your presence so that you can come as their hero and rescue them as a hero that is going to come to rescue them they have your contact and their phone numbers not because they truly do adore you or that because you have some certain relations or that you are family or that you have some sort of relations that are productive with them it is all based on their self interest it's all about what they gain by having you around even when they won't be able to have a conversation with you or hold an intellectual conversation with you that is going to bring forth enlightenment and insight of a better life 
but they will still want to hold on to you because they know as much as they dislike you, they recognize the greatness that you are radiating with. They see the light that you carry and they want a piece of that. So you have to be responsible for yourself as much as you might be empathetic, as much as you might be a giver, as much as you love to help where you, you tend to, to want to help. Also recognize that giving people who are not worthy of your energy, of your gift, of your greatness is also staining your own gift. It is also staining your own light. You are also sabotaging where that light comes from. Because that light was meant to be shared, you're supposed to give it to people who will be willing to accept it and have the capacity to accept it and receive it and also proceed forth to give it to other people. That is the main reason why we do what we do. The main reason why we are what we are is for us to influence positively because they say a smile is contagious. If I smile right now, <laughs> chances are you are also smiling right now. So kindness also is contagious. When you are kind towards someone who have never experienced kindness and those people are genuine people, they will receive that kindness and take it as a way of life going forward because they will also feel the edge of wanting to share that kindness towards other people. And you find that that person also never experienced that kindness. They will recognize how beautiful it is, how it makes them feel and how it creates a relationship that is so beautiful between two people and they'll also want to proceed with it. So behavior is also learned. Behavior is actually learned. We didn't wake up knowing how to speak on screens like this. It took learning a lot from other people. We are so many in this world that we have the ability, some of us have the ability to influence one another very positively, very positively. The videos that you watch, the content that you consume, the type of entertainment you tend to be interested in will determine the way you think, will determine the ideologies and the way of living and the, the way you see life and how you get to share yourself with other people who are in your cycle. I hope that this video did find you in good spirit. Until we meet again, love and light.